underway for the fourth and final heat of the seventh and final events of day three of the Torian Pro. The Oceana semi final. This is the first qualifying event right around the world for the 2021 Noble CrossFit Games. And so happy to be announcing top three coming up in about half an hour's time. Nakari has dropped off to rechore. Clifton and Turner have not dropped off the bar. Alethea Boone and Maddie Sturt going unbroken. And Maddie Sturt getting to work straight away and getting a no rep. So the bookends going unbroken and getting to the barbells first. But now Ellie Turner making light work of these thrusters in lane three. Kara finally getting to the bar. But as we know with Kara, it's not going to be a race in the first set. No, it's not. And what we've seen is Kara's kind of let the girls get a little bit ahead of her and then she has absolutely mowed them down. All that experience in many, many years on the comp floor. Well, we know she's going to be doing off. very well with the thruster, so she can take her time a little bit more on the pull-ups. Ellie Turner getting back to the bar first, Kara second, and Alethea Booth third. But Kara now looking super strong on these pull-ups. I think maybe just needed a little bit more chalk. Laura Clifton just needs a top five finish here and she will be a very happy camper. Alethea Boone is back to her barbell doing Boone things over in lane one. Alethea Boone already qualified for the CrossFit Games in the 35 to 39 Masters Division. Looks like she might be too far out from that top three. But keep in mind, we have got the last chance qualifier as well. Those spots up for grabs outside the top three. Olivia Boone, a lead up, but only just Kara making up a heap of ground. And Kara will probably finish first and back to the bar. Olivia Boone seconds ahead. Both these ladies so good at pull-ups. If anyone's going to do this last set unbroken, it is this lady right here, Alethea Boone. 37 years young. Laura Clifton currently in second. Needs to get a move on. Ellie Turner, lane three in third. Needs as many points as possible to stay in the top three. Kara Saunders. It is the Kara Saunders show, as it has been for a number of years at regional, sanctional, and now semi-final. And Kara will not be putting this barbell down. And the crowd counting out the reps, making the judges' job very easy. And with the finish with 660 points and a sub four minute time, Kara Saunders booking another trip to the CrossFit Games. Neck and neck, Alethea Boone and Ellie Turner. Last few reps for Alethea Boone. Boone finishing up. And the crowd favourite here at the Rafter Arena. Alethea Boone and Ellie Turner. Ellie Turner, it looks like she has booked her tickets to the CrossFit Games for the first time. And Maddie Stewart finishing in 4.30, and Laura Clifton, has she done enough to book her second trip to the CrossFit Games? She's hoping so. Laura Clifton with a little bit of a buffer. Kara getting the jump on her in that event. And now Justine Beath and Christy Bishop 
trying to finish off their sets of pull-ups with Bailey Rogers with a couple of reps away. If you're picking anybody to shift a barbell fast at the end of an event like this, it's going to be Bailey Rogers. Bailey now with nine thrusters remaining, still 90 seconds left on our time cap. And crowd urging her to pick the bar up and get rocking. A beautiful movement from Bailey Rogers, the far side of Pat Rafter Arena. Last rep for Bailey Rogers. And what a great weekend that young lady has had. She has been outstanding from start to finish. Creeping up into that top 10. Christy Bishop and Justine Beath with a foot raise to make things a little bit more exciting at the end of heat four. And Mum can have a rest now. But what a great result for Kara Saunders, absolutely smoking event number seven and proving who is boss down here in the Oceana region. The weekend, how are you feeling? Stoked. It was so amazing to be back out here again. Uh, competing in the gym is just not the same, and uh, this has been everything I hoped it would be. And look, we don't have official results in yet, but what would it mean to make it back to the cross CrossFit Games? Epic. It was um, kind of felt like I missed out last year. You know, I qualified after having her, and I just didn't get to go back out. Um, so it'd be awesome to kind of get out there for real again, you know, after doing this stuff. <laughs> you do a great job at all the stuff, both the stuff. Laura, how was your weekend? Such a massive achievement. Yeah, it's been a whirlwind, like down, up, down, up, down, up, but it always happens and you've just got to like keep fighting and just it ain't over until the last day, so. Yeah. Biggest learning experience, if you can think of it right now in this moment. Um, stick to my game plan like doesn't matter what's happening around me like I know what I can and can't do so I just need to stick to my own plan good plan and Ellie this is our first time chatting but you've been quite a force this weekend how has this whole experience been for you um, it's been a bit surreal like the crowd has been amazing and um, it's everything I could have imagined so yeah pretty happy and what's the plan for the next couple of months well, it sort of depends on the final placings, but uh, I'm keen to just get back into training and uh, work on those few little weaknesses that I have. So, And likewise, if there's anything you've learned from this weekend, what would it be? Oh, I think I can take away something from every event, um, just the whole experience. Um, yeah. It's too much. Yeah, too much. <laughs> well, great job, ladies. Well done. Go relax. You've worked hard and you've earned it. Thanks, Jeremy. The final seven minutes of the Torian Pro, the Oceana semi-final and the first qualifying event for the 2021 Noble CrossFit Games is underway. And I tell you what, we are in for a show for the next four minutes. Newbury, Crouch, Brown, Dunn, Porter, all familiar names down here in the Oceana region. Khan Porter in lane one, still going. Break now for Khan Porter. But Jay Crouch, he is out and about. And getting to work. James Newbury not too far behind. And Newbury needs to do it all in this event. Newbury, two points out of third, equal with Luke Vesor. Any mistake is going to cost one of these guys a trip to the CrossFit Games. I was going to mention that to you earlier, Pip. You've been in this position before. What's better, trying to make up that distance or being comfortable with a little bit of a lead? I've only had to make up distance, <laughs> so I can't tell you about the lead. This man can, though. Jay Crouch. 
so smooth. Then over to his right, James Newbury. We know he loves a Chester Bar pull up. He's usually not a super fast starter. It is usually around now that we're going to see him up the ante. James Newbury trying to catch Jay Crouch. Jay about to finish up his second set of pull ups. Jay Crouch on the way, and he is on a mission. Baden Brown, Royce Dunn, James Newbury, the top four are the top four. And James Newbury needs to get a move on. He needs to beat Baden Brown. But Jay Crouch, way out in front and taking a break. A little bit of breathing room, but not much. to the pull-up bar. Wayne Brown. Royce Dunn. Jay Crouch heading back. We know Jay Crouch has got faster chest -to bar pull-ups than Baden Brown, but Baden getting a great start. And Baden Brown wants redemption at the CrossFit Games. No doubt whatsoever. Getting cut from the CrossFit Games in the first event in 2019. Jay Crouch, Baden Brown, Royce Dunn, James Newbury. Newbury going to have to work very hard to claw it back. It's going to be Baden Brown and Jay Crouch to get to the bar at the same time. Jay Crouch, a second behind Baden Brown. And with this barbell weight, you would expect Baden Brown to finish off strong and go unbroken. Jay Crouch, one rep behind. Clayton Brown, left of screen. Jay Crouch right and cycling faster, Jay Crouch. Has Baden Brown done enough? Jay Crouch catching up. It is going to be down the wire. Can Royce do something? No, it's Baden Brown. And Baden Brown, yes, sir. Just ahead of Jay Crouch. And here comes Royce Dunn and booking his tickets to the CrossFit Games once again. Big Royce Dunn coming in in first place. And just over that four minute mark for Royce Dunn. Jay and Faden under four minutes. Wowza. The top three coming in, top three. James Newbury coming in, important result for James Newbury. Last chance qualifying spots up for grabs as well. Can't Porter in. Has Can't Porter done enough to get a last chance qualifying spots? Luke Fiesaw the same. Our final couple of competitors on the field. Luke Dijon and Bailey Martin. Bailey Martin about to finish up. What a great weekend. The Kiwi from Rotorua finishing up. And our last competitor, Luke Dijon from CrossFit Wollongong. But Jay Crouch has done the work and got the reward. Luke Dijon. He's had a great weekend for the youngster and he has entertained us all so weekend. Much, so much. Luke Dijon, a couple of reps to go. And this will only fuel the fire for Luke Dijon. <laughs> Luke Dijon still with plenty of time on the clock. Jong, the entertainer, and done under six minutes. But what an incredible finish! Baden Brown edging out Jay Crouch. Baden, who do we have here? Ah, uh, Boston, little Boston, little Boston Brown. Little Boston, everyone say hello to little Boston. Hi, Boston. Baden, what does it mean to you to? Potentially, unofficially, punch your ticket to the CrossFit Games. 
Oh, it's awesome. It's awesome. It's three years in a row now, and that's yeah, that's something I'm really proud of. So, so yeah, I'm super happy. And Roycey, big boy, back to the CrossFit Games. How does it feel? Uh, I'm on the way in today. Driving in, I actually had a bit of a cry in the car because like it's been it's been a big year, and we got a just had a new baby, about four weeks old now, and Laurie's been at home with the three kids, and there's been a lot of sacrifice that wasn't my own. <laughs> to go towards this training and making this, you know, job. So it, it means a lot to make it worth their time. Absolutely. And Jay, how has this weekend been for you? Yeah, it's been unreal. It's like I missed out on being in an in-person uh, in competition at the Games last year. So to be in front of a like, pretty stacked arena, it's, it's amazing. And how has your training been over the last 12 months? Um, yeah, still the same, full on. I uh, finished my electrical apprenticeship last year. So this year I just started full time as a crossfitter. So uh, it's good to see that the full time work's paid off. Well, you'll have some exciting years ahead. Congratulations, guys, and go rest up.